NASCAR's Brick Cup Racing on Fox is sponsored by Cobalt, the next generation of tough tools. By the new film Four in theaters Friday, May 6th. And by Camping World and Good Sand. Everything for the RV lifestyle since 1966. 78 laps in in the Aaron's 499 live from Talladega. And here are the headlines. Uh, time for an AT&T race break. Only one caution so far. Most consecutive laps led by one driver. That's five. Clint Boyer and Matt Kenseth. And Clint Boyer has led eight different times. But the leader at the moment, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Earnhardt Jr. with Jeff Hammond, Chris Myers. And we talked about the driver combinations. Listening in, mostly the spotter talking to both of these guys. At one point, they fell back to 33rd. They said from the beginning they would work together. They're continuing to do that. Yeah, it just makes it easier if these guys, if they get an, a plan worked out, like the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, the 88 of Dale Hunt Jr., to work together like this. Now they've only got to talk to each other and the sp one spotter. So I think it makes it a lot easier. And so far, this has really paid off dividends for both these drivers. Junior trying to hand that 100 race winless streak. But why wouldn't you just count on your spotter and hand signal? instead of having to worry about all the voices on the radio. Well, one thing is, yeah, you're spotter and you can do that. But as far as what you're trying to run in this particular configuration, you need a partner. You've got to run with somebody. And hand signals, because of the way these cars are configured, does not work that well. The big seats, the high, high rear spoiler makes it very difficult for a driver to hand signal each other. So radio communication is basically the best way to go. On to Carl Edwards told us on the pre-race show he would team up with anybody, friends, enemies, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, it wouldn't matter. But you've been listening in with Marcus Ambrose, his Ford teammate, and I underscore mate especially. Yeah, they were really having fun early part of the race when you saw both these guys up front leading laps. And once they had completed that, when Marcus Ambrose led a lap here, he and uh, Carl Edwards agreed, we're just going to work together kind of hang around the back and just take care of our equipment to the end of the race. Like he said, I want to be around at the end. They're both happy. They both got bonus points. And that's what they're doing right now. Just kind of enjoying the Sunday. And different strategies. Pulse sitter Jeff Gordon teaming with Mark Martin. Uh, those two early in the week, you heard Gordon say, hey, I don't want anybody on my radio except my teammates, but he may have to make adjustments. He might, but so far they've been able to also execute the plan from the start of this race. Both these guys leading laps and being able to do what they're doing, even though they find themselves a half a lap down. Down, Chris, they have the muscle. They know what they've got, and they're basically running their race. They're not letting the race basically dictate to them. They're running their p pacing, thinking that by the time we get to the end, because even though we've only had one caution, we're going to have a lot more because the intensity is going to start to pick up as we go a little bit further. Yeah, last year eight cautions, but only one in the first 76 laps. And in this case, with the pit stops, as we have a lead change going here, and again, the teamwork of Ryan Newman and Kyle Busch challenging the Hendrick team of Jimmy Johnson and Earnhardt Jr. Again, you know, Di uh, Ryan Newman knows how to win because all of a sudden, you know, you had a situation where this guy has won a Daytona 500. You know he's a good super speedway racer. Even though he's had a lot of bad luck here at Talladega, he's got a fast race car right now. He and Kyle Busch, you know, they're working together because they got split up after the pit stop, so they had to find a new dance partner. And that's one of the things we talked about. That plan was not working like it needed to, so now they're hooked up together, making it work. Also, the pit strategy, if you go in together, come out together if you find that person to work with. Time to check out the AT&T Fastest Pit Crew Award, and you can text the car number for the crew you think will average the least amount of time to 234567. AT&T, the nation's fastest mobile broadband network, is getting faster with 4G. Let's rejoin Daryl, Larry, and Mike. And Mike, it looks more and more like two drivers' heads are better than one. <laughs> Certainly, Chris. Here's how this pair got together.